So now I'm gonna demonstrate what you would do if the drug that you're being ordered to give is not in the library or the flush feature is not enabled in the software in the device and you needed to program a flush. So I've already loaded a syringe and attached my tubing. What we're gonna choose for this profile is number eight, fluids and channel label. Because again, this drug that we're infusing is not in our library. So I'm gonna do a drug based on a volume over time. So I'm gonna choose number three. And again, this is just for demonstration purposes. If you don't have this in the library, yes. You have to confirm your brand of syringe again and the size is 20. So I do have 20 mLs, and I'm gonna give that over 30 minutes, just for demonstration purposes. Confirm my settings, and then I'm going to hold my prime button down until I see drops at the end of my tubing. Then I'm going to exit, exit, <laughs> and then press the green button to start. And as I was saying, the screen is a little bit different from the other intermittent and continuous of dopamine because there is no name. The only thing we have in here is our syringe size, the time, the time remaining, our total volume delivered is the same, and then our 40 mLs per hour. So that's just an example of what you would do if you needed to program something that's not in the library, or again, program a flush, an amount over time.